Hey guys, welcome to another video and season two, episode two of Truth Behind Xiaomi Software Updates or MIUI Updates. Now in episode one, we saw that we had downgraded this particular phone that is the Redmi K20 Pro to the first ever Android version and MIUI version that is 10.3.3 based on Android 9 and the benchmarks and the game performance was not that great. After which I received one OTA that is 10.3.5. I installed it and systematically I've tested three benchmarks n to 2 Geekbench and 3D Mark. And I have also played some games on it on yesterday's live stream. So this has been a substantial increase in terms of battery performance and the phone performance as well. So, you know, this is getting where we wanted it to go and it is getting interesting because now the performance has increased and we will see what happens in the future. I'll tell you everything in detail in this entire video, but before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community, Instagram, Facebook, and all other social media. You can join us there and have a lot of fun. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Alright, so first things first, we will talk about the software version. This is of course 10.3.5 Android 9 Pi, the security patch is 1st of July and everything else is just the same. Now I have observed that there is a little improvement when it comes to the snappiness, the stability, the charging and the battery backup. So of course, you know, when you're going to give a first update to any particular device, you are just going to concentrate on improving the performance and improve the performance they did. Now from 10.3.3 to 10.3.3, there were no major you know feature improvements or no additional features in you know included in stuff because this is still miui 10 and everything else now a quick update on what actually happened in yesterday's live stream my gyro was not working and that's when i realized that you know what people used to say that if you downgrade directly to the first ever version you will kill your sensors i almost thought that i killed my sensors but that is not the case a simple reboot has fixed the gyro and everything else so before we proceed with this video let me know in the comment section if you want me to actually make a guide on how to downgrade to the first ever version of MIUI for the K20 Pro, I can definitely make a video on that. Now let's talk about the interesting stuff here. So first we will talk about the benchmark numbers and when we talk about benchmarks, the first thing that comes to mind is of course N22 benchmark. Now as you do see over here, the benchmark score for N22 is 440,283. If we go into further details, you have 139,509, 168,944, 59202 and 726228. That's the individual scores. But if we compare this with the previous update, it was 439,112. Now you would tell me that the difference is less than 1000. So it's pretty consistent and you are telling me that the performance has improved. Well, this is N22. Okay, that is how Xiaomi designs their software that they if they detect N22, it should give you a static performance across different updates to, you know, hide the fact that they're not cheating or they're not slowing down the phone or this update actually increase the performance and stuff. So that is where Geekbench actually comes into the picture. Now we will move on to Geekbench and you will see the difference over here. So if we go to history, now this is the first update. This update test or this benchmark test was done by keeping the phone off for 10 to 15 minutes making sure everything is closed nothing is in the memory and 10.3.3 gave me a score of 621 and 2472 now we move to the interesting part this update 10.3.5 749 and 2608 that is a substantial jump when it comes to performance now Honestly, nothing to complain over here. They have just increased the performance, so I'm pretty happy. But as we go on with these particular episodes all the way to 12.0.4, you will notice the you know ups and downs in performance and how a company actually treats a particular device when it comes to software updates. Now, that was everything about Geekbench. We still have 3D Mark to test, so there you go. Now over here, when you talk about results, we do see a similar result, 4889 in 10.3.3 and 5250 in 
10.3.5 so again even on the graphics part the performance has improved i did notice very consistent frames above 50 to 55 fps on pubg live stream yesterday as well so yes the gaming performance and overall phone performance has improved so you know let's quickly have a look at the chart not much information there but and to two initially was 439.112 and now it is 442.83 geekbench single core was 621 and now it is 749 multi-core was 2472 and now it is 2608 and 3d mark was 4889 and 5250 so you know if you were to ask me that is 10.3.5 the best ever update is this what i should install not really hold on to your horses because now what has happened here is Xiaomi is directly telling me to upgrade to 12.0.4. That means we are going to lose out on a very, very important factor that is MIUI 11. So that is not the update I'm going to flash. I actually have a roadmap as to after this particular update, which is the update that Xiaomi gave to this particular device. There will be three or four more episodes for this device. And one by one, you know, we will have comparisons done. One by one, we will have live streams done and we will actually get a flow chart like we got on the Pocophone F1, which will actually reveal the mindset of Xiaomi engineers of how exactly are they treating. The major part for Poco F1 and the K20 Pro as well will be the MIUI 12.5 update and as I have said in my first episode as well for this phone a very very important benchmark will be the latest version of EEA stable that is the European ROM because I have personally experienced the K20 Pro perform like a custom ROM on the European stable ROM. So, you know, that gives you a picture of how much more for the K20 Pro when it comes to season two of Truth Behind Xiaomi software updates is about to come. So stay tuned. If you're new here, please subscribe and please watch the live streams if you're interested in gaming. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this particular series? I have received a lot of positive feedback and I'm open to your feedback if there are any changes that you want me to make as well. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.